And many people who know James Holmes are stunned. He is the suspect. Police say is behind the Colorado movie Rampage. CNN's Ed Dan Simon went to California, where he grew up, to track his roots. The face seemed familiar. Then he remembered. David Casper owns a San Diego pawn shop and recalls Holmes looking at some guns a few months ago. To find out that he used firearms in the commission of his crime and that he had been in here looking at firearms is kind of a little bit unsettling. A few miles away in the middle class neighborhood where Holmes grew up, a portrait is emerging. Not of someone who was violent or had an intense interest in weapons, but a quiet, intellectually astute young man. Obviously, he had the intellectual capacity to be successful in anything he wanted to do. Out of the 21,000 students at the University of California, Riverside, Holmes was among the very brightest, according to the school's chancellor. Admitted on an academic scholarship, he graduated in 2010 with a degree in neuroscience, considered one of the most challenging scientific curricula. It's one of our most rigorous majors, and it leads to careers in medicine and science and research and in a whole host of health, uh, allied health areas. Holmes appeared to come from a stable family. His father, seen here understandably distressed, is a manager at a software company. His mother, a nurse. It's a very, very sad day. Um, they're, you know, working with and communicating with authorities, and really that's all we can say. Julie Adams was among those who gathered near the family's house. Her son played on the same high school soccer team as Holmes. It's a quiet neighborhood. It's a, it's a neighborhood that people move to because the Poway Unified School District is probably one of the top school districts in the nation, and that's why people move to this community. At this point, we haven't discovered anything in his upbringing that points to a troubled individual. Holmes spent one of his college summers here, working as a camp counselor to underprivileged children. He was responsible for the care and guidance of approximately 10 kids. We're told there were no incidents, and nothing happened out of the ordinary during his time here. Few answers for those looking to understand how this academically gifted young man could now be accused of being a violent